Hello and welcome to another session of GPK CAT Fund. Today we will be talking about reserve category candidates because uh, because there are something unique advantages which you have and उसका फायदा आपको उठाना चाहिए है. So so the issue that I want to address today is if you belong to a reserve category, which MBA entrances should you take? आपको सारे exam लेने की जरूरत नहीं है. आपको कुछ गिने चुने exam लेने. Let us talk about which ones and why. Okay? But before I start and move on to the reserve category candidates, my default लेट्स से एडवाइस टू स्टूडेंट्स जो जनरल कैटेगरी के होते हैं वही सब पेपर लो कैट भी लो जैड भी लो आई एफ टी भी लो एन मैट स्नैप टेस्ट चाहे तो माई कैट इर्मा वो भी लो एंड यू शुड अप्लाई टू मल्टीपल इंस्टीट्यूट बिकॉज इज अ वेरी कॉम्पिटेटिव सिनारियो दैट वी आर लुकिंग एट ओके एंड इट इज ऑलवेज कॉम्पिटेटिव टी आई वी आर लुकिंग एट वेरी कॉम्पिटेटिव सिनारियो एंड एंड इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू क्रिएट अ बैकअप फॉर योर सेल्फ ओके अगर आप बैकअप क्रिएट नहीं करोगे ऑन दैट गिवन डे आपका कैट या दैट अच्छा नहीं हुआ तो आई एफ टी एन मैट टेस्ट स्नैप वगैरह आपके पास है सो सो विच इज वाई माई एडवाइस टू जनरल कैटेगरी कैंडिडेट इज अप्लाई टू मल्टीपल इंस्टीट्यूट आई टेक ऑल पॉसिबल एग्जाम सो दैट यू आर डेफिनेटली गोइंग इन टू वन ऑफ द गुड इंस्टीट्यूट दैट गॉड रूल दैट आई फॉलो बट जब ये बात आती है रिजर्व कैटेगरी कैंडिडेट की मेरा एडवाइस uh, मेरा नजरिया एकदम बदल जाता है इसके कारण है पहले ही समझते हैं क्या है मैं 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 पहली चीज मैं बोलता हूँ इसके अंदर यू नीड टू चूज इंस्टीट्यूट्स एंड एग्जाम्स वेर यू है हाई प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ सिलेक्शन ये तो ये तो जनरल कैटेगरी से भी होना चाहिए बट एज सेट देयर सर्टेन एडवांटेज व्हिच यू हैव बिकॉज ऑफ व्हिच दिस दिस बिकम्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सेकेंडली क्योंकि आप अगर लिमिटेड एग्जाम ले रहे हैं तो आपका प्रिपरेशन जो है एक फोकस रहेगा आपको यू डोंट हैव टू वरी अबाउट टेकिंग एन एग्जाम एवरी वीक एंड फॉर एग्जाम्पल कैट एंड ऑफ नवंबर होगा फिर दैट फिर सॉरी आई एफ टी आएगा फिर स्नैप होगा उसके पहले एनमैट भी आएगा बाद में टेस्ट होगा जैट होगा इफ यू लुक एट फ्रॉम नवंबर एंड नॉनवर्ड कंटिन्यूसली टिल अबाउट मिड जनवरी इफ नॉट लेटर यू बी टेकिंग पेपर सो आपको फोकस नहीं रहता so but if you are in a reserve category candidate then you have the advantage and you can leave a few exams so that you can prepare better for the other exams okay and yes ek chhota sa advantage ye bhi hai aapko ki agar aap kam exams aur kam institute mein apply karoge to examination fee aur application fee ki bachat ho jayegi i don't think that's a very very important factor but it's a one of the smaller uh, let's say fringe benefit that you have okay ab aate hain ki bhaiya aisa kyun why is it that i am saying this do teen cheeze hain pehli cheez जो आप सब जानते हैं गवर्नमेंट इंस्टीट्यूट है बट इंपॉर्टेंट चीज ये है कि वाइल रिजर्वेशन होती है नंबर ऑफ एप्लीकेंट्स आर नॉट इन द सेम प्रोपोर्शन टू गिव वेरी वेरी ब्रॉड आइडिया आई टॉक अबाउट इन डिटेल इन लिटिल वाइल इफ यू लुक एट गवर्नमेंट इंस्टीट्यूट टिपिकली आई एन में एफ एम एस में आई एफ टी में आई आई टीज में नीटी में इन सब में आप देखेंगे टिपिकली अबाउट 55% of the seats are reserved and about 45 the actually ab kam ho gaya hai kyunki about 50% reservation plus 10% ews nikal dete hain and uh, disabled nikal dete hain so about 35% seats jo hai open category ki hoti hai but in 35% seats ke against 65 to 70% application aati hai so agar 100 applications aati hain to 65 se 70 application general category candidates ki hoti hain 35 to 30% ke applications are for the reserve category candidates बट सीट सौ की ज्यादा है रेशो ऑफ नंबर ऑफ सीट अवेलेबल टू द नंबर ऑफ एप्लीकेट इज इन योर फेवर एंड यू शुड टेक एडवांटेज ऑफ इट एंड गो ओनली टू दॉप इंस्टीट्यूट मोस्ट प्राइवेट इंस्टीट्यूट है रिजर्वेशन एंड इन दीज प्राइवेट इंस्टीट्यूट बिकॉज दे डू नॉट है रिजर्वेशन यू बी कंसिडर्ड एज अ जनरल कैंडिडेट यू विल बी कंसिडर्ड एज अ जनरल कैटेगरी कैंडिडेट बिकॉज यू बी कंसिडर एज अ जनरल कैटेगरी कैंडिडेट to get the interview call admission ke aapko high score chahiye hota hai so so if you restrict yourself to government institutes and apply or take only those exams which have uh, which take you to government institutes and have reservation then aapka admission jo at a lower score you can get into a higher rank college this is critical and this is the primary reason for me to say if you belong to a reserve category candidate aapko sare exam lene ki avashyakta bilkul nahi hai आपको लिमिटेड एग्जाम लेने वो एग्जाम लेने जिससे आप सही इंस्टीट्यूट में जा पाएंगे लेट्स लुक एट द सी टू एप्लीकेशन डेटा विच आई टॉक्ट अबाउट इन लिटिल वाइल अब ये देखिए इफ यू लुक एट दी कैट एप्लीकेंट आई एम की सीट देखते हैं एवरी वन नोस 15 परसेंट शेड्यूल का सेवन एंड हाफ परसेंट शेड्यूल ट्राइब एनसीओबीसी ट्वेंटी 5% ये और 10% ये बस्ती कितनी है 35 35% सीट्स अवेलेबल टू जनरल कैटेगरी बट अगेन दैट एन एस्टीमेटेड 65 टू 70% एप्लीकेंट्स आर हियर 
So for these 65% seats, there are only 35% candidates. So the score required goes down significantly and hence you can get a call at a lower score. So many people ask that why the SC, SC, OBC comes to the call? Because the number of applicants are low. Not because the, the, the caliber of the students is lower. No, it is not a question of caliber. It is a question of the number of applicants. Come application will be cut off and cut off. Okay? Now, now, what does that convert into? Please look at the next slide. Okay? For interview calls, look at this. With, while while and, and here I'm looking at, yes, look at all these. I'll come to this part later. But but uh, don't worry about the general go kitni chiye. Now look at if you're SC candidate at something like 80 percentile plus, 80 percentile plus you can get into a good college. FMS could be about 85 hoga ye, but 80 plus leke chal lete hai. You can get into a good college. Okay. But but if you have to get into let's say an MDI go down. In MDI Gurgaon, you need at least a 95 percentile because only cut off 94.95 ke aspa jayegi. But if you can get a 95 percentile as an SC candidate, you will be possibly into a top IM. Okay. Similarly, if you look at the other categories also, you'll find at the lower score, you can get into higher, better colleges. Let's look at if you if you are if you belong to a SC, SC, OBC or PWD or EWS candidate and you get a 90 percentile. At 90 percentile outside the IMs, what are the options going to be? IMT mil sakta hai, IMI mil sakta hai, uh, XIM Bhubaneswar ho sakta hai, and host of other private institutes. But at 90 percentile, if you are SC candidate, the top IMs are available to you. As an SC candidate, IM ABC are possible for you. As an NCOBC candidate, you can probably get into an FMS Delhi University also. You can get into the IITs. You will be getting into the new IMs also. And similarly, at 90 percentile as a PWD candidate, you will be in the top IMs. So why should you look at the institutes which are much lower ranked and, and require a higher school for you? Okay. So, so my point is very simple. As a candidate who belongs to SC, ST, uh, NCOBC or PWD, please choose the institutes. You don't have exam take all the exams. One thing you have to remember. One exam from a private institute which you should take are symbiosis. Snap. Snap you lena because Snap has reservation. It has reservation for SC, ST, uh, PWD. It does not have reservation for uh, EWS and NCOBC. So if you belong to EWS or NCOBC, then then symbiosis is not for you. But if you belong to SC, ST, and PWD, then you have to take these exams. And look at the SIBM Pune and SCHGM, SCMHRD Pune cutters for ST category. Only 32 percentile, 35 percentile. Again, I'm repeating yes. Yeah, so, it's clear that the logo is not available here. There is no reservation here. And apply is not available here. So, if you have a limited application, then the cutoff will be able to do it. So, all ST, SC candidates, my strong recommendation, and PWD also, my strong recommendation is symbiosis. You should definitely apply at a very reasonable score. Look at this 70 percentile, 35, 40 percentile. For PWD and ST, for and, and, and the worst case, we are talking about 90 75 percentile for SIBM Pune and SCMHRD Pune. In dono mein aapko 75 percentile mein mil jayega admission, and these are very, very, very good colleges. Okay, so so please look at this particular data and be clear about which institutes to apply. Okay, so now let me come to the recommendation. If you are NCOBC, SC, ST, or PWD, for ya tumko CAT ki lena hai sabse pehle to. Okay. And through CAT, obviously, I am so okay, but do apply to IITs, NITI, FMS, and other Delhi University programs. Delhi University may MFC, hai, MBE, hai, uh, there are other programs also. All Delhi University programs you should apply because of reservation, and they will get through at a lower score. And more importantly, these are very good programs with very good education and very good placement opportunities. So, CAT is a definite which you need to look at. Backup play IFT, which I have. Because IFT again, both Delhi and Calcutta are excellent institutes. They will be classified among the top 10, top 15 institutes in India. So, there is also a reservation here. There is also a Tata Institute of Social Sciences, definitely. Because they have got one of the best HR programs in the country. Uh, arguably, it is the number one program for HR in India. Okay? And the SNAP. Okay? And NC, OBC and EWS is not valid. Nahi hai vaise. But, but here, I am not talking about EWS, so I am leaving it. So, so, this is my first thing that you have to CAT 
if you are a reserve categories candidate, if you are NCOBC, SC, SC or PWD, please check CAG, IFT, TIS and SNAP definitely. If you have to take any other thing, it's your right, but I don't have any other requirement. Yes, there's only one exception, I will say. Okay? There's only one exception, ZAC. Okay? Why is that? Because XLRA Jamshedpur is one of the best institutes. It is at par with IM A, B, C, L. IM A, B, C, L is a level of institute. So if you think that you can get a 97 per odd percentile, then please take it away. But if you think you are, you will, you are unlikely to get a 95 plus, then maybe that is not something you should be looking for. Okay. So, so, so the ground rule is you have to apply to only those institutes or those exams which will lead you to institute which have reservation. Exception create that le sakte hain. Khali XLRA ke liye because apart from XLRA, all the other institutes which are through XLRA will do not have reservation, and there you will be wasting your time and money uh, uh, completely. Okay. Now, if you are an EWS candidate. Okay. Now, EWS candidate reservation to hai, but my problem is ki seats bhoat kam hai. Why? And look at the cutoffs of EWS candidates. Okay, look at the cutoffs of EWS candidates out here. It is almost the same. 98, 99.6, 97, 99.2, 96, 99. So when you look at the EWS cutoffs, they are very, very close to the general category cutoffs. And hence, you are not getting, and, and, and if you are, can get a call here, XLRI bhi aasakta aapko. And secondly, number of seats is low. It is only 10% of the seats and the number of EWS candidates is increasing every year. Okay. Unlike the, unlike the, uh, uh, unlike the, uh, let's say, PWD or ST candidates, which are not increasing very fast, the EWS candidates have increased significantly. And going forward, I would not be surprised if this comes almost close to 10% of the candidates will be EWS candidates. So, so given that scenario, I would suggest that if you are EWS, hai, so you have a chance, you have to take all the exams. Exam lene hai. You, you should not consider yourself as a reserve category candidate because the ratio of seats to number of applicants is not in your favor. My whole analysis is only on one thing. What is the ratio of seats to the number of applicants? If this ratio is in your favor, then you need not take the private institutes exams. Yeh they show up your favor mein nahi hai, to aapko lena hoga. And this is where an EWS candidate, which should be taking the exams, which are outside the IM or the CAT. Okay, so EWS candidate, bhaiya, general category sanjo, saare exams do, and let's see what comes out. And then obviously, if you get into, a, into, a, in, into the reserve category candidate, as a candidate, you get into a better institute, perfectly fine with me. But, but my suggestion is, as an EWS candidate, consider yourself a general category candidate and take all exams. So, so as in a nutshell, I will say, if you are NCOBC, uh, uh, okay, let, let me make a short two sa table. Bana deta hon, pe main. Uh, so, we have CAT, IFT, uh, then we have uh, uh, TIS, then we have SNAP, we have ZAT, and then we have others. Okay. Now, everyone should take them. Okay. Everyone should take this paper. Okay. But if you are NCOBC, NCOBC, okay. NCOBC, ho to aapko, uh, okay. Baki gang ki lene hai. Eight minute hai jaye. Yes. And I'll take a small table out here. If you are NCOBC, EWS, then we have uh, SC, ST, PWD. Okay. And we have general category candidates. CAT. Uh, then we have IFT. Then we have uh, TIS. I would say everyone has to take these papers. Then if you look at SNAP. Yeah. SNAP, I will say general ko to likhna hai. NCOBC, chhoor sakte hai, aapko chhoor na hai. To EWS, you should definitely take them. EWS, again, I'm saying you tweet like yourself like a general category candidate. Okay. Then we look at ZAC. General category and EWS. And if you are NCOBC, SC, ST, or PWD who thinks he or she can get a 95 odd percentile or more, then you should definitely look at taking those papers. Okay. So, so that's the ground rule. And as far as the NMAX and the other exams are concerned, uh, then don't worry about it. As a reserve category candidate, you need not worry about it. As a general or EWS candidate, you should consider taking these exams. Okay. So that's it from my side. Thank you very much. All the best. And, and uh, don't miss out on. Uh, applying to all these exams.